Chinese Lantern Festival. I'm actually here to illustrate one important fact. Humans love spirals. Ah, the Fibonacci spiral. What is it? Well, it's based off the Fibonacci sequence. And I'll go ahead and quickly run that down for you. It's a sequence of numbers starting with one one and then you add those two numbers together to get two and then you add the previous two numbers to get the next number which two and one would be three three and two would be five uh, five and three would be eight and so on and so on and so forth to infinity that is the Fibonacci sequence I'm not gonna bore you with it too much but basically in order to get the spiral you imagine these numbers as occupying space and when you draw a spiral, that gives you the Fibonacci spiral. Okay, that's that. Now, why should you care? Well, this particular spiral, this sequence of numbers, seems to be ever-present in nature, and also it seems to be incredibly attractive to us as humans. This spiral in this sequence seems to pop up everywhere, and I mean everywhere, from the number of petals on flowers, pineapples, pine cones, seashells, the Milky Way galaxy, and even hurricanes. Yeah, spiral out, man. But that's just in nature. For some reason, humans are very drawn to this sequence and this spiral. Over the course of human history, we have used the Fibonacci sequence knowingly and unknowingly to increase the aesthetic beauty of art and architecture. There's just something about structures and art that's more appealing to us humans when we go by this designated order of things. But honestly, that's not even the weird part. That's not even the reason why I wanted to make this video. See, when I started to experiment with psychedelics, I got into something called dimethyltryptamine, DMT. And uh, when under a DMT trip, there is a realm that your brain seems to slide into and it's full of these geometric shapes and patterns that are exactly in line with the Fibonacci sequence. You know, I try not to make wild speculation on these types of things and I like to try to remain at least a little bit of a skeptic, but I can't help but draw some basic conclusions. And that is the Fibonacci sequence, the spiral, it's important. Not just to us, but as I said earlier, nature, everything, even the realms within our own human brain. It's almost as if it's a code that's embedded in all of reality. The blueprint, if you will. And think of it as sort of the DNA of all things. Think of a DNA strand, how we imagine it and how we've depicted it in our science books. So Parker, does this suggest that everything is intelligently designed? Hell if I know. But I will say one thing. We've used complicated mathematical equations to do some pretty advanced, and freaky technological things. Think of all the technological breakthroughs that mankind has achieved using equations. There's something about numbers, there's something about geometry that seems to be incredibly important as far as the whole of existence goes. Maybe the sacred geometry that we see under psychedelic states and the Fibonacci sequence, the spiral. Maybe it's all sort of a subtle reminder of God. Or maybe everything that we see around us is just the matrix. We're plugged into an incredibly advanced computer simulation. And this Fibonacci sequence is the code. Kind of like our computers are running on 0010010 whatever binary code, right? Yeah, maybe that's the backbone behind our programming, behind the programming of all existence. Yeah, hope you thought some of this was interesting. I'm gonna walk around and show you the Chinese lanterns. No more Louie, bring a bowl of suey, no more kissing in the yellow booth. Yeah.
Sai.